Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss Design and Analysis of Algorithm BDU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Question number 8a. Apply Digistrace algorithm to find single source shortest path for the given graph by considering S as the source vertex. So here they have given a graph. Here we need to consider S as the source vertex and you need to find the single source shortest path. Source vertex is yes, from the source vertex yes to all other vertices in the given graph, we need to find the shortest path. That is nothing but single source shortest path. Okay, so this is a 10 mark question. And here we need to apply Digistrace algorithm. So for this given graph, yes, we need to consider as the source vertex. Okay, from the source vertex to all other vertices that is S to A, S to B, S to C, S to D, S to E, we need to find the shortest path. Okay, so we need to apply Digistrace algorithm. So initially, we need to construct a table that is consider three vertex and the remaining vertices and then the illustration. So initially, we need to consider the source vertex that is yes. So from the source vertex, we don't know the next vertex. What may be the next vertex? We don't know. And its distance also we don't know. Okay. Yes of dash comma infinite. The first part will represent the vertex. What is the next vertex we need to consider? And the next part represents the distance. From this vertex to this vertex, what is the distance? That we need to enter here. And the remaining vertices if we are considering in the sense, initially, all the vertices will be considered as the remaining vertex, okay, that is A. So, from the source vertex to A, there is a direct path. S to A, there is a direct path. So, A of S, comma 1, starting vertex is source vertex and its a distance if you are considering that is 1. So, A of S, comma 1, okay. So, from the source vertex, you can be able to reach the vertex A with the distance 1. Next, there is a direct path to vertex B with cost 5. Okay. So, comma B of S, comma 5. Distance is 5. So, from source vertex to vertex B, distance is 5. Next, if you are considering vertex C, D and E, you cannot able to reach from the source vertex. From the source vertex, you cannot able to reach directly to C. And what is the intermediate vertex? We don't know initially. So, what we have to do? C of dash comma infinite. What may be this next vertex? We don't know and its distance also we don't know. Similarly, D of dash comma infinite and E of dash comma infinite. Okay. And the illustration if you are considering in the sense, we need to consider this complete graph. Consider initially only the vertices. Yes, A, this is C, B, D and E. Okay. This is the disjoint data structure initially we need to consider. And from the remaining vertex, we know the distance from the source vertex to A and from the source vertex to B. Okay. But source vertex to A distance is 1, source vertex to B distance is 5. We have to consider the shortest path. Digistrace algorithm is nothing but a single source shortest path. In this given graph, we need to consider one vertex as the source vertex. From that source vertex to all other vertices in the given graph, we need to find the shortest path. So here, at present, we know the distance from source vertex to A with distance is 1, source vertex to B with distance is 5. Which one is least? Source vertex to A, distance is 1. Okay. And this is a directed graph. Everywhere we need to represent the direction as represented in the given graph. Okay. So here, from source vertex to A, distance is 1. Okay. This is the shortest path at present. Okay. So the tree vertex, you add this vertex A. Vertex A of S, 1 will be the next tree vertex. So through this vertex A, that is, Source vertex to A is there. Again, through this vertex A to all other vertices, we can able to find the shortest path. Okay. If possibility is there directly from source vertex, you can implement directly. Or now the tree vertex we have considered as A. Through this vertex A, if there is any possibility for shortest path, 
yes to a and a to any other vertices if there is any possibility for shortest path you can implement next step okay so here now for vertex a we got the shortest path next step. vertex b we need to consider through vertex a if you are considering in the sense b of a through a okay next vertex is a comma total cost is already source to a is 1 and a to b is 2 totally it is 3 b of a comma 3 similarly for vertex c if you are considering in the sense c of through vertex a through vertex a if you are considering in the sense it is next vertex a that is a to c and cost is 1 plus 2 it is 3 total cost is 3 similarly we can able to reach the vertex d through a so d of a comma distance if you are considering it is 1 s yes, to a is 1 a to d is 1 so 1 plus 1 you will get it as 2 okay and e if you are considering through vertex a you cannot able to reach at present to e at present to vertex e so e of dash comma infinite only now the illustration if you are considering in the sense it is source vertex s to a already distance is 1 okay and the remaining vertices if you are considering in the sense we know the distance through vertex a we can able to reach to vertex b with cost 3 we can able to reach to vertex c with cost 3 d with cost 2 which one is least d to a to d with the distance 2 that is the shortest path so now we can consider a to d and its distance is 2 okay s to a is 1 a to d is 1 so totally the distance is s to d is 2 next step now the three vertexes d of a comma 2 okay now through vertex d if there is a possibility to reach c b e with the shortest path in the sense we can consider now to b if you are considering there is no path okay so here through a to d and d to b you cannot able to reach because there is no direction here b to d there is a path d to b there is no path so previous step only we will consider b of a comma 3 similarly c if you are considering there is no path from d to c only c to d there is a path okay so we will consider as per in the previous step only that is c of a comma 3 only we will consider okay and E if you are considering you can able to reach E through D. So vertex E you will consider the next vertex will be D and its distance if you are considering already S to D cost is 2 plus 2. So D E of D comma 4 is the distance and among these three vertices which is the shortest path B of A comma 3 this is the shortest path. So we can include B of A comma 3 in this graph okay already s to a there is a path and s to d there is a path now we are including s to d sorry now we are including a to b and its distance is 2 okay now this is the pre vertex so now if you are considering we got the shortest path from source vertex to a source vertex to b source vertex to d okay See, source vertex to B, if you are considering the cost, the distance is 5. But here the distance is 3. So that we have considered 3. Okay. Already in the first step, we have considered 5. But this distance is least. So we are considering the shortest distance. Okay. So now the tree vertex, if you are considering, it is B of A comma 3. Okay. Through vertex B, if there is a possibility to reach C and E with the shortest distance, we can consider now. From B, if you are considering in the sense, already the distance is 3. S to A is 1, A to B is 2. And if you want to reach C in the sense, that is not possible here. Okay. That is not possible from B. So, we can consider with the previous step itself. That is C of A comma 3 only we will consider. Okay. And vertex E, if you are considering in the sense, already distance is 1 plus 2. Now, through B, if we want to reach it in the sense, it is plus 2 plus 2. That is 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7. But already the distance is E of D comma 4 only. It is only shortest. So, we will consider 
e of d comma 4 only through b there is no shortest path we cannot able to find any shortest path further so we will consider as per in the previous step only so now if you are considering among these two which is the shortest one c of a comma 3 is the shortest one okay so consider the graph already there is a shortest distance from s to a s to b and s to d okay now we can able to reach to c c of a comma 3 that is a to c we can consider and its distance is 2 so shortest path if you are considering s to a is 1 s to b is 3 s to c is 3 s to d is 2 now we need to find e the last one we need to find now the tree vertex if you are considering c of a comma 3 that is the next tree vertex okay and the remaining vertex only the shortest distance for vertex e you need to find okay now the final graph will be s to a shortest distance is 1 s to b shortest distance is 3 s to c also shortest distance is 3 s to d shortest distance is 2 and s to e if you are considering through d only you can able to reach so d to e shortest distance is 2 so s to e shortest distance is 4 so this is the final shortest path graph you will get it so from this if you are implementing in the sense the shortest distance from source vertex to all other vertices so the shortest path if you are considering in the sense source vertex is yes from the source vertex to all other vertices you need to consider so source vertex to a distance if you are considering in the sense the cost if you are considering in the sense it is one okay and source vertex to b if you are considering you cannot able to reach directly to b s to a a to b so shortest distance if you are considering for b it is s to a and s to a and a to b and the total cost is see here this is actually this is 2 okay total cost is 3 the distance is 2 okay and here also it is 1 i have written total cost here okay the distance is 2 total cost to b is 3 so it is 3 and uh, s to c if you are considering in the sense s to a and a to c and its total cost is Next, A to D, if you are considering S to A, A to D. Total cost is 2. S to A, A to D and its distance is 2. Next, E, if you are considering in the sense, it is S to A, A to D, D to E. Okay. So, if you are considering the total cost, it is 1 plus 1, 2 and it is 4. Total cost is 4. So, if you are considering the shortest path using Digistrans algorithm from the source vertex S to the remaining vertices s to a distance is 1 s to b the path is s to a a to b and distance is 3 and s to c if you are considering path is s to a a to c distance is 3 and s to d if you are considering s to a a to d distance is 2 and s to e if you are considering path is s to a a to d d to e distance is 4 so this is the final shortest path you will get it okay so, the complete steps you need to follow and finally you have to provide this path from source vertex to all other vertices what is the distance. Okay, then only you will get full mark. Here, don't skip any steps. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.